Good evening, one and all. It is uh, the 4th of October. No, it's not the 3rd of October. Uh, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> we're late. We're not that late. <laughs> no, we're not that late. We are a little late. I do apologize. We were busy nattering. Um, so, yes. Um, there you go. So, uh, this evening, Steve won't be with us. Unfortunately, he's not feeling very well. And the... Um, hobby room shed is uh in pieces still so hopefully steve will be in the chat a little bit later if he's not asleep already um chris may be with us i'm not quite sure not heard anything from him today so uh hopefully he'll be with us if not it'll just be the three of us which is in the left corner is lewis hello and in the right corner is carl Hi. <laughs> Such enthusiasm. Um, just heads up. Uh, we may have an issue with Facebook this evening, so um, it doesn't appear to have gone live for some no, reason. No, it can't. It's, it's, Facebook is kicking us out saying, no. Nah. Resolved. Not a chance. So I would so, cancel that. We will just, um, shall I remove it? Hmm. Did this do, do this to you last week? No, oh. but it just didn't work at all last week. Didn't oh. say nothing, didn't do nothing, so. Oh, well. Um, I'm just going to remove it because I don't want to be seeing that. That nonsense, yeah. Uh, keep coming up as an error message. So, um, yes, yeah, so it will be just on the YouTube to see you, uh, ding, 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 ding. Um, and hopefully, those that will go to watch us on Facebook will catch up with us later on. Uh, it might be because I posted it so early, I suppose. I don't know. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Right, let us go. Over, um, yes, let's go over to the chat first, see who is with us because it is bobbing up and down. Uh, Modeling Mayhem is, uh, I think, I'm first. Grabs a comfy seat in the middle. Ah, it's not sitting up the front. No, no he's scared of sitting up the front. He's, yeah, in, always, he's in reaching distance. Always picked up. Hello, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hope you're all right. Um, Nim is with us. Say good afternoon. Afternoon, Nim. Evening, Nim. Hello, Nim. There was a bit of chat between um, Nim and Andy, which I won't go over. Um, and I'll just carry on going down and down and down and down. God, you guys were chatting for quite a while. Boy. Uh, hopefully I'm not missing anything too relevant. Uh, the lovely Natalie is in the room. Hi, Nat. Evening, gents. Lovely. Shut up, you. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Such so a lovely, yeah. lovely lady. lady. <laughs> <sighs> Just uh, PayPal. No, nah, that's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a little bit of a chat going on in there. Uh, I just saw burgers and chips. <gasps> um, uh, I yeah, don't mind. bacon rolls for supper. Oh. We had a, a Russian dish that I involved pork. A Russian dish? What, you did it really quickly? Yes. See what I, I did there? <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. It's very good. <laughs> yeah. Almost slipped right, off. folks. Me. I'm here all week, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I think lovely, I just reached past me. My lovely wife cooked dinner today. Nice. So if I manage to get through the next two hours, that Keelan over would be all right. <laughs> uh, Kevin Stevens saying good evening, people. Good evening, Kevin. Good evening, Kevin. Evening, Kevin. And we've got evening all from the modeling making haggis. Evening haggis. Evening haggis. <laughs> um, bum, 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 bum. And we keep going. And the lovely Carl is there saying evening people. Evening people. Evening Carl. Evening Carl. Evening Carl. That's right. The only way I ever get any sense is talking to myself. Yes. Uh, Mark Ewing's there saying, so evening everyone on the evening, uh, Mark. on the and crew, how are we all? We're good? 
Even yeah, Mark. as good as can be. I try. Well, may have just reminded me to push the button. Push the button, James. Push the button, James. And he was saying the green button, not the red one. <laughs> no, it's the red one, not the green one. Because if it's the green one, oh, yes. That, that's the end of the world button, the red one. Oh, yes. Don't uh, that. Chances in, so good evening, all. Evening. Evening, evening Chancer. Sploom, 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 Steve, Steve, who? Steve who? I don't know who that is. It's Steve. Steve. Hi, Steve. Even Steve. Which of that model was in the house then? Evening all. There's little Dave. Evening Dave. Evening Dave. Oh, and I've just jumped. Have you? I have, yeah. Like you say, still to me. Well, this is a lot of... What it is, you've got to remember, there's a lot of me that moves. <laughs> so it takes a little while to get going. It's a little bit like... That's a, not a oh, move, that's a jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> not really a jiggle <laughs> if I'm honest um, Conrad Junction is in the house he's saying careful Lewis ah uh, careful yeah you've obviously yeah, been all week. Uh, ginger ninja models he's saying good evening people hope everyone is evening Nigel well. evening uh, Jump Works is in the house so good evening good evening evening Scott Evening, Scott. Sorry now. And the lovely hello, hell to hello, everyone from the hell to the hello, everyone. <laughs> Evening, Malcolm. Evening, Malcolm. <laughs> and it's and it's Southport, Steve. It's Southport, Steve. There yes. we go. I remember, Evening, I know that Southport, name. Steve. That's a name from the from the distant past. Yes. Been a while. Hope you're keeping well, Steve. So let's go over to the Sandin King and and see what he's been up to this week or got on the bench this week, etc. etc. So as you can see, I've got a whole pile of dust on the bench. <laughs> Took me ages to model this. <laughs> no, I am currently making uh some Buddhas. So we have uh, Mr. Mr. Vader, the Buddha. <laughs> cool. And he's going to be guarded by two Mr. Trooper Buddhas. So it's going to be like a little set. Ah. So they're going to they're going to be sort of sat like that. And they're going to be golden figures. They're not going to be painted any color. They're just going to be pure gold. So they're they're washed to, try, to try and age them up a little bit. So. Ah. There we go. So that's why I'm working on the minute butters. Well, when I've printed them, for some reason, the bases haven't printed flat. I don't know why, because on the 3D model, they're flat. So I'm just sanding the bases flat before we paint. I'm, I've got my primer warming up now. So we're going to prime the, these up. And I'm also going to prime up my little fat Deadpool as well. And we're going to start doing some painting. There we go. That's what I'm up to. Cool. Um, I've lost my camera for a second, so we'll go to Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Hello. I'm giving up. Again. It's all going wrong. Wong? Yeah. Okay. I'm breaking an hour and a lie lifeboat that Nat gave up on and said I can do. All right. So I'm currently trying to get it so that I can lift the put the top on and off. Because you can't really see inside it with that on. Yeah. So I want to be able to take that off. But I stupidly glued that framing inside that but the framing won't fit because it has to curl round these bits. Right, so okay. Can't fit inside there and still lift off. So I've just had to pull it to bits and have it come to bits. 
that's what I'm working on. Cool. So okay. a small little uh, project for you, something like you. Yeah. It's... <laughs> It Sounds was an like argument. Get frustrated with it than anything else. Yeah, it was an argument because you see it at Telford when we went last time, uh -huh. and I said that I wouldn't mind doing it, and she said, "No, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it." And then she gave uh -huh. up. Because it wasn't fitting together nicely. And oh, now comes the excuses. And it's like no, because it's like it war hammers. So I very kindly and generously let you have it. Yes. There you go. I see, it's very like, generous of you. Like a very kind yeah. of loving wife does. Yes. Well done, Nat. Thank you. Can I just mute my mic? <laughs> no. Uh, let's, let's move on. <laughs> uh, so what have I got on the bench? I've got quite a few bits and pieces on the bench. Uh, I've been busy. Uh, I've been busy with my 3D printer, doing printing for a friend. Um, so I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, I don't know the names of them, so you, it, it'll be this. There's that one. That's a blurb. That's a blurb. I look quite nap in the morning. This one. That yeah, is like. a Jewback. This what? A Jewback. Oh, okay. Jewback. Not in the afternoon. No, uh, something, something, something like that. It's from the original Star yeah, it Wars. Is, it is Jewback. You're right. I've got that. That is the. Um, What's his name? I can't remember. He's uh, like an assassin droid. He's uh... <laughs> He's an assassin droid. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be something. That's like it. That. Something like that. I'd yeah. Be... He's in the original Star Wars as well. Yes. One of the bounty hunters. So we got that. He's also in the Mandal one of them's also in the Mandalorian. This is the one from the Mandalorian. Okay. Why has he got wings? And then he got that. That's Keel. And that's, uh, I've got another three that yeah. should be finished in about an hour. There you go. Uh, Sprue and Glue and Nigel both got it. It's IG88. There you go. Absolutely spot on. Uh, prizes for that are, are winging their way to you as we speak. Yeah, across the airwaves. Across the airwaves, yes. Catch it? No, missed it. Yeah. Never mind. Chances just got it as well. IG88. Uh, uh, and then also, I have managed to do a little bit of painting on my Fariga. Yes, I saw this. Some time ago. Which is this. Um, I'm not going to play around with the focuses. Because it's an app. There's an app for that. There's an app for that. There is an app That's for gonna that. going to look lovely when you get paint on it. Yeah, if I could just get a bit of paint on it, it'd be handy. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, I've got... Um, it's got all its base colours on. Uh, so it's ready. That's ready for uh, a matte coat. But I'm going to be nice. playing with this hopefully today. Ooh, painting this bit out the mace. The mace, yeah, the last bits of that figure. Uh, and then I can do a bit of oils on it. And um, I'm particularly putting off the wings. So um, yes, but, the wings are going to be particularly difficult. Yes, yeah, so I'm quite figured out in my head what I'm doing yet. So. So, yeah, so that's me. I'll be playing with my mace later. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there you go. So what we will do is we'll just catch up with the chat because there's been a few other people who jumped in. Uh, we've got Twisted Rao Hobbies. Thank you, evening all. Evening, Eric. I was just going to say, I'm sure that's Eric. Yeah. Uh, John Howe has had a very good evening, everybody. Evening, John. Evening, John. Uh, Ginger Ninja's just saying, been a, a long while since I've been in Southport. Um, is the Masters Crazy Golf still there? Uh, best crazy golf in the world, apparently. We'll take uh, Nigel's word for that. Nigel's word on that, yeah. Um, Kevin just saying, hi, Eric. <sighs> oh, no, that's not what I want to highlight. So he's all going really well, isn't it? It was. I as a professional is all I am. <laughs> uh, Steve just was saying there, hard to type on the phone. Grandson has the TV. The <laughs> voice. Um, 
Uh, obviously, we're going to get those guests. Hello, Connor Man, just saying hi all. Hi, Connor Man. Hi, Connor Man. I will get to this. Uh, uh, Common Road Junction has asked some question. How do you keep your benches so clean? Because <laughs> um, we don't do anything. <laughs> very, very simple. <laughs> We just don't come in here until Saturday and go, hello. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it is. I forgot. <laughs> um, can, can everyone hear me sounding that? Because I can turn my mic off if it's getting... No, noise. no, no. You're fine. Don't worry. I've got my my silly printer in the background humming away as well. So it's not a problem. Um, Comrade Junction says, I really struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think... Um, Lewis obviously started his new job this week, but I know uh, Carl and myself have been struggling with a bit of mojo as well this last few weeks. Yes. So that doesn't help. Yes, I'm hoping these get the mojo flowing again. Yes. We can get on with that. Yes. With your ship. With this ship, yeah. With the ship, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we are up to date with the chat. Uh, big days. Well, uh, I think uh, Big Dave has said he wants to see a gong droid, and then Nigel said there's plenty on Thingiverse. There are indeed. There's hundreds of them. He wants to see what? A gong droid. A gong droid? Yeah, it's the one. It, I don't know if you've watched much of Star Wars, but in Star Wars, there's like a big square droid with like two feet. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Going gonk. Gonk. So it's called a gonk droid. Uh, that sounds sort of logical. Yeah. Um, yeah, there are actually. I was doing a bit of uh, floating around on Thingiverse today. Yeah. And I, I saw those. I didn't know they were called gonk, not gonk. Um, so if anyone's just wondering, you can mix your resins when you're 3D printing. Because I've mixed two different types of resin there while it's printed. You can probably see the layers. Yes. So I ran out of green when this was still printed because it printed that way up. So I added a bit of blue. And then towards the end, it, I added a bit more. <laughs> 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 because I did print one and it uh, it ran out. Uh, and it looks a little something. Like this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. There you go. That's what a print looks like when it fails. Oh, so you actually run out of resin? Yes. So oh, I went to bed, got up in the morning, it finished the print what it thought, but there wasn't enough resin in the vat. Oh, no. So you, can, if you I don't know if it's actually picking up all the individual, there you go, all the individual layers as it's printed. Mm. You see it oh, God, up there. Looks like wood grain. Cool. Wow. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought you'd say it. No, 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 no. No. It's a fair chunk of uh, resin to throw away, like, but hey. It was it is the end result, it's turned out really nice. So. Yeah, it does does look nice. And it's good it's good that you can mix the two as well. Yes, as long as they have the as long as it's the same manufacturer and they have the same exposure, like um, any cubes, it's uh, four hundred and five nm. So yeah. they do work together. So Nim's just saying there that uh, to Conroe Junction that uh, yeah she finds it hard to keep the, the bench clear because too many sprues and not in, not enough space. Yeah. yeah, too many sprues and not enough glues. You got Clark saying good evening. Late on parade as usual. Uh, don't worry, that's fine. We're a little bit late too. Um, evening, Clarky. You got Joe. Evening, Clarky. Uh, Joe McCaslin uh, saying good evening. Evening, Joe. Evening. Uh, and Nigel just saying there that Bandai doesn't even do a gonk. Weird, really. It's the most popular droid. What I was tempted, Dave, Dave's just put a comment there saying, like, maybe hit put it on the window. 
what I'm tempted to do is when next time I do a Star Wars diorama, is have this in a rock face or something. Yeah. So all the fronts, all the fronts like caved off. Put it into a rock face. So yeah, like you can certainly use it, can't you, in something? Yes. I'll use it in something. I can always like get the Dremel out and rough it, rough it up a bit. Mm. So yeah, it's still usable. <laughs> I could see that comment. Uh, yeah, he's just saying you could super clue it to the outside of your window and it would look like <laughs> yeah. hit the window hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good, I like that. <laughs> So there you go. So um, this evening we have a title of the flag that unifies. Uh, we'll be coming to the, that. Your guesses in a little while. Don't put them in the chat yet. Have a little think about it. We'll do that uh, about twenty to nine, then about twenty minutes or so, and uh, we'll have a little guess. Um, also got something a little bit new that we're going to play with today. Um, they ate. Um, yeah, we'll do that just afterwards, and then um, we'll be into Lewis's section, looking at your work. If you haven't put any of your work up in the crash Facebook page, now is the time to do it. We'll do that just after nine o'clock. So make sure you put your uh, work that you're doing right now, or what you're working on, your work in progress pictures up on the on the crash. Oh. I really should have put my teeth in today. Uh, Sprue and Glue just saying there, you could do a Mount Mount Vader on Rushmore. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. Yes, I, like I can. I idea. can see where that's going. That could because you could actually put um, a lump of clay or something in front of it, so you could actually do droids droids carving it. Yeah, that'd be quite yeah. interesting. Or building it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of options, like. Uh, we also got Chop Suey in the house saying, hello, fellow craftsmen. Evening, Chop Suey. Evening, Thomas. Well remembered. Well done. Yeah, well done indeed. See, this is, this see, is that, what I love, I love that's being why we, That's why we invited him on the show, see. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, he, he's only supposed to come on for one show. We couldn't get bloody rid of him. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Do you want me to go sit in the back? <laughs> yeah, go, go sit in the back with James. No, I think that seat's already taken. It's <laughs> <laughs> closed there, isn't it? <sighs> you, you fit right in, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Yes, I'm very course, trying. And of course, next week, uh, we've got a new section that Nat's going to host, but she doesn't know anything about it That's yet. That's right. Yeah. God help you all. <laughs> You've just given that away, haven't you? I have I didn't hear that. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. So I'm going back to my knitting. I pretend I didn't hear that bit. Don't know what you're Don't worry, about. We'll, we'll remind you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so uh, the other thing which I will mention, it's not the crash, but I will mention it anyway. Uh, over on my uh, Facebook group. Shameless plug. Uh, yes, it's a shameless plug, I'm afraid. Uh, we're, just, we're just starting the um, Sea Warfare group build, which runs for three months. Uh, but more importantly, well, as importantly, but um, a little addition to the program over on the Model Officers Mess uh, Facebook group is we've decided we're going to do a 72-hour uh, build of some description over Christmas. Uh, so that's going to start on Boxing Day. You and your blooming ideas. Um, and it's going to run for 72 what? hours. I can't do it. That's why it's called a 72-hour build. Well, then guess what? Well, Me and kids are still doing it. Now, it's funny you should say that, Nat. Yes. Because. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and also because, Lewis, um, it's, it's a very different type of group build. Because of 72 hours because of the time of year, basically because obviously the situation that is currently haunting us all um, was the main reason for, um, for the idea. So, you know, you you might have got fed up of all your Zoom calls on Christmas Day and just be chilling out. 
So the group build is actually open to anybody at all. And I would hastily encourage all of you, if you can, to involve your family. Yes. So those of you with children or those who with um, adults that are in the, in the house, no more than six. Otherwise, the seventh will have to go in the oven. Um, you can't put kids in the oven. Ah, sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, they fit so neatly. Uh, yes, because we have to stick to the, uh, the, the rules. But, um, yeah, so basically anybody can get involved. And what, what I'm hoping for is, say, for example, a family like that and Lewis's family, as I mean, got that. Day, instead of putting the television on, you sit around and you make something craft. it's crafty. Yeah. <laughs> now, when I say crafty, it doesn't have to be a model. Nope. so you could include for example lego you could include diamond art you can include a model kit painting of a figure that's not been painted so for example if you have uh i don't know say a, a 3d printed figure uh, you can paint that over the three days um anything you like whatsoever However, well, like crochet, because I know you could certain, crochet, you could certain do Jacqueline that might do something like that. Yeah. But the only two provisos to it are it must be something that's unstarted. So, for example, you can't make a kit up and then paint it. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. So it's got to be an unstarted item. Um and the only other stipulation is it must refer in some form to winter. So that, to give you an idea, I think completely out of the box, it could be something with the name that relates to winter. It could be a winter scene. It could be anything whatsoever, as long as there is a tenuous link to winter. <laughs> All right, and I'm willing to take tenuous. It's not a problem because I want to leave it as open as possible. It's completely bizarre stuff now. You know that, don't you? Oh, yeah. That's the whole idea uh -huh. is to open it right completely up because of um, given the fact that we did, it, we did an international family um, group build several years ago. Yes. It was great. There wasn't a lot got involved, but it was great. Um, but I understand trying to get the the family to sit around for 72 hours and make something is probably a little bit a lot to ask oh so, just yeah. so you know you don't have to sit there for 72 hours oh no no not not you don't have to log in you're like you're like you're allowed one toilet break yeah <laughs> toilet break tea break <laughs> and i'll allow an hour sleep you've been no, generous no. this year <laughs> yes sir. you never gave us that in the 48 hour bill the last no, one yeah. Well, you're not allowed that. Well, it's because it's shorter time, you see. Yeah. You get the other 24 hours at the end to sleep. <laughs> yeah, so that's the idea. Um, and I really want everybody to embrace it and get involved as much as possible. What we will potentially do, um, which I haven't spoken to anybody else to, uh, about it at all per se, is um, I might persuade some of the admins and some special guests to come and sit with us for an hour or so in a stream um over those 72 hours but that's all got to be worked out um yes yeah, so i should hopefully be there depends on my new shifts because i start my new job in a week and a bit yeah uh but if it's over 72 hours i'm not going to be working 72 hours so there's going to be time to come into the stream and whatnot no matter what my shifts are so yeah so so hopefully we'll be able to get some some involvement. Um, and obviously, um, if Lewis is working, um, Matt can obviously get the children happy with that. Oh yes. And and set him up with something nice and wintry in a scene of some craftiness. Yes. Matt. <laughs> Absolutely. There we go. I know what I can build. I'll be right back. I'm going to go give these fellas a wash. No worries. I still got my head. I still got my headset on, so I can still hear what's going on. Okay. Oh. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that'll be of some interest to you guys. Um, we may do something uh, another group build wise for the, the crash, but we haven't discussed it. So because obviously um, Steve not being very well, Carl um, jumping jumping between um, 
Jobson opportunities and obviously Lewis as well. Um, so we haven't really put our heads together as such. But there you go. So there, a bit of breaking news. And for those that uh, voted on the poll that I put in the mess, thank you very much for your um, your efforts. Um, so, yeah, there were some, some good suggestions. Anyway, let's go back to the chat. I'm waffling. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Oi, 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 oi. I want a waffle now. Oh, do you know what? I could do with some nice waffles and some maple syrup. Oh. Ooh. Will you shut up about food? <laughs> Yes, we're not we're not going to talk about food at all tonight. So if you want to put in what you've had for supper or what you're about to have for supper, I'll just do the chat. I apologise if I sound a bit echoey. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> I know I'm not having a Make sure you turn the mic off before you start. <laughs> I'm washing my bits. Leave me alone. Yes, I know. You said. <laughs> Splashing oh, splash your bits around in that sink, I tell you. <laughs> Um, oh, I love you guys. <laughs> Someone asked me, Russell Williams in the house saying good evening all. Good evening, Russell. Evening, Russell. See, look, my bits are wet. Oh, yes. Oh, your, um... your bits are dripping all over your bench. Uh, Chance is saying, uh, it's one of those films I remember watching with my parents back in the 70s and 80s. Oh, which film's that? Must What's have been that? something oh. we were talking about. Yes, um, that's to do with uh, Silent Running Kicks. Silent I Running. I remember Cool Runnings. Yeah. Isn't that a sub-film? That is a submarine film, Silent Running, yeah. isn't it? Silent Running. I think it Silent is. Running. I don't know. It's Brunglu. It's a bee movie. It's movie? about bees. Oh, okay. <laughs> Them's eating cookies. Them, that's not allowed. Yes. Um, oh, I've lost myself up. Why do these things keep jumping? Well, uh, there's a blast. There's a name we haven't seen for a while. Who's that? Who's that? You'll see oh, hello. Touched. Get to him in a second. Um, just discovered the Destiny models uh, do raising kits of the Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Do they? Cool. That's very cool. So I should know Huey, Dewey, and Louie. <gasps> you should. Did he just say he doesn't know who Huey, Louie, and Dewey is? I wouldn't expect anything different from him, honestly. I don't know where we got him. Uh, Frankie goes to Hollywood. Good evening, all. Hello. Hello, Frankie. Hello. 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 All right. Uh, we've also got uh, Studio 3 Model Works. Scotty. Hello, Scotty. He's crept in. He said, uh, I seem to always tune in at the appropriate moments, Carl. He's washing his bits. <laughs> uh, oh, I yeah. think that might be a different channel you're thinking of where Carl <laughs> washes his bits. But... <laughs> yeah, that's that's a pay-per-view. That one. <laughs> it's a Patreon account, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm not sure if this is linked to your bits, but Russell Williams said I should really wear my glasses. <laughs> You're probably, probably. Off not to. <laughs> Bang on. <laughs> anyway, this is going rapidly downhill. Is, well, yeah, this is where we usually end up right at the bottom of the hill, isn't it? Yeah, well, why? Look, look at the fatigue. Does this look like a go up and down the I just stay at the bottom. Yeah. The only time I go up to the top is to roll the cheese down. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Charles, who is saying I'm drinking uh, twisted tea? No food yet. Yeah. What's a twisted tea? It's no, actually tea with no tea in it. It's, that's, that's the twist. Ah, okay, it's like a chicken you. surprise. You know, surprise, it's beef. Ah, I got you. <laughs> uh, Spring Blue just clarifying. Uh, no, that's not the one. Spring Blue just clarifying. It was a science fiction film from the 70s. Silent Running, was it? Okay, let's not do it. Let's not do a quiz on the films because we're useless. <laughs> uh, Quantum Man's just saying, uh, <laughs> Oh, I've seen those so soggy bits. Need a bucket now. <laughs> Needs a new bucket list because he's that's that's his bucket list completed. See, I see, fair enough. Uh, yeah. top series. It's a mixture of alcohol with twisted tea, apparently. Oh, that's ah, okay. that sounds much better. It's like an iced tea with like vodka or something. 
Yeah. Yeah, I usually have twisted tea, but I usually leave the tea out. <laughs> My phone's going absolutely mental. Are you lot messaging me? No, I'm not messaging you. I'm struggling yeah. enough to read the chat, let alone you know, <laughs> something different as well. Well, my mate Dan sent me a video. I better not uh, show that. No. <laughs> no, I'll watch that later. No, if it's the Dan I think of, you're probably right. Yeah, because it'll probably break me. Yes. <laughs> oh, Dave Barker's put something in resin. That's just popped up on my feed. <gasps> oh, I hope you put some of them in um, the crash, Dave. He did. Excellent. He did. Right, I'll put that away because we're... That's being rude. Hello, uh, everybody. Charles has just said that as he was set in the background of an environmental uh, disaster, <laughs> it would be relevant to the current era. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Uh, Stuart. Hello, Stuart. 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 Is, is in the house. Uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie were androids on a large spaceship preserving the last of the planet life from Earth. Uh, from Earth. Yeah. With Bruce Dean. I, know, I do know the film now. Yes, I do as well. Yeah, great big circular domes all around the ship. Yeah, and he, he used full of trees. Am I right? Yeah. Thinking he used to drive around in one of those three wheel, uh, no, six wheel buggy things. Yes, yes, that were similar to the ones they used in what was that program? Oh my god, um, it's a knockout. No, <laughs> no, no, um, oh god. It's around the same time as the monkeys, but I can't think what it was called. He'll come to me. Oh, you mean banana splits? Banana splits, that's the one, yes. Yeah. One banana, two banana, three banana. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> We're now off air. Lovely. Yeah. It's good to see you anyway, Stuart. I hope you're all settled in, in the new gaff. Indeed. Um, hopefully, we'll see you back building models soon, fella. Miss you. Yes, we do miss you. Yes. Um. <laughs> I've completely thrown you off now, hasn't it? I know I'm not going to roll my cheese. We're <laughs> <laughs> just saying there, Carl, please don't roll your cheese. Oh, dear. Oh, so dear. That's, oh, oh dear. Yeah, that's yeah. Really well. You're right. <laughs> If I look up and see you doing anything with your hands, I'm going to tell you off. Stop blaming your cheese. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, Scott, he's just a yeah, banana split. He's telling you quite yeah. right. Thank, thanks for being sensible. We need someone sensible here, you know. Yes. That's, uh, why, we, that's why we're missing Steve. <laughs> quite, quite a man. Uh, studios, I'm glad I, I can make the show. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and good evening. Good evening, sir, and welcome along. Indeed. Evening. Well, welcome to this madhouse that's rapidly going to very straight to the bottom of the gully. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. And Sprinkler's just saying the names Huey, yes. Huey and Louie Louis were and Louis. later used by Disney for the three brat ducks. Yeah. I was beginning to wonder because as soon as I heard them names, they're exactly who I thought of. Yeah. Were you all confused when we started talking about something completely different now? Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> I didn't think that Huey, Dewey, and Louie. It's like Louis. no, it's what? like they're the free, the free ducks. It's like what is about androids? <laughs> they're Scrooge's nephews, aren't they? Yeah, Scrooge Mc, Scrooge McDuck's nephews. Yes. Yeah. yeah so obviously, um, having a teenager in a house helps. Do you see what I did there? A little compliment. Thank you. Like help. <clears throat> anyway, move on. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh Stuart's just saying that he's fine. Uh much yes. happier away from the idiot I was having to put out with. Yes, uh, he wasn't a nice fellow, was he? No. Uh and in uh immortal words of Arnie, I'll be back. I'll be back. Get to the chopper. Copyright. Good. I'm sure, I'm sure that Stuart will jump in on the 72 hour build, you know. Yeah, I've got a feeling he might as well, yeah. I think that's right up his street. Yeah. <laughs> right, pressure. okay. So, um, now is the time. Now is the time for you to guess the title of tonight's show. 
Uh, a flag that un unifies, a flag that unifies. Can you tell me what I am referring to? No. I've got a guess, but I'm not going to say it. No. Not yet. We'll see what everyone else comes up with. Going to give you three minutes. I've got the counter on. Yeah. Well, it's actually a little child sat in the corner counting to ten. Slowly. <laughs> Slowly, I said. That's just wrong. I wish I had said so that. Now. <laughs> Nim's throwing a guess in. Uh, yes, so Nim has thrown a guess in there saying um, the German Unity Day is the National Day of Germany, celebrated on the 3rd of October. Oh, could it be that or could it be something else? Mm. Chance of throwing a guess in there saying um, the re uh, revealing of the EU flag. Mm. Not a bad guess. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> this is at night. At least you know the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek, Nat. Absolutely. Yeah. I know the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek. They spell I've, seen one. I've not seen the other. <laughs> they spell completely differently. <laughs> Both start with an ass. <laughs> Malcolm saying a unifying flag. Hashtag. What do I win? He wins the gratitude and the thanks. Of a thousand souls. Oh, that was a question. I thought he was doing it in Welsh. Ah. He could uh, be. He could be. I'm not sure. Uh, Quite a man just saying it is a flag or kink. <laughs> I think that's probably kinky bondage, but over kink bondage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask Nat about that later. No, I'm, I'm too innocent to know what you what that regards. <laughs> Don't check that. Flag. Jesus. Oh, can you me. can you like die quietly, please, Lewis? Yeah, Lewis, could you? you? She's going bright red now. I know. Literally. I can feel the heat over here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting a tan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stuart's just saying. Unfortunately, uh, not at the moment, uh, as I don't have the space to build. Where I'm presently living, hence why I've um, he's having a sabbatical for all. Uh, still yeah. keeping up with what's happening in the model of the world, though. Good, I'll just yeah. keep your fingers in, so to speak. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, keep them fingers in, keep the mojo floating. Indeed, uh, Sprungler just sent a correction, uh, as was said by Chancer, uh, 15th of April 1938. And mark Huey, Dewey, and Louis' first emanated appearance. 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 Appearances. Yeah. Appearances. Yes. Um. <laughs> quite a man saying, "Is it Donald Trump going to hospital?" <laughs> <laughs> and the um, model making haggis is uh, saying the design of the Union Jack. Ooh. Ooh. There is a theme in all these guesses. Have you noticed? What? Flag. It's a flag. They're all guesses. <laughs> They're all guesses. They're all guesses. <laughs> Just as well I what, don't know, isn't it? What's the theme, could be, then? Could be any of them. Uh, the theme is flags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes. shall I? I Let me ask the crew. We'll start with Nat. Oh! No, please don't. She just spilled a diamond thing. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Now, now once she picks up all her bits. Oh, no. Yes, please oh, do. A diamond art bits. Behind. Oh, Have you dropped your bits, Nat? I've got a major twangage everywhere. <laughs> He's been inspired oh, by Carl waving his bits around. Anyway, Carl, oh, have you got a guess as all? I like being the people's inspiration. You know that, don't you? <laughs> it make, makes me happy. Mm -hmm. No, my guess would have been uh, the Olympic flag. Oh, another flag. Because it unifies the five circles and it unifies all the nations of the planet. 
That would have been my guess. Mm. Whether it's right or not, I have no idea. Okay, Lewis, have you got a guess? I was thinking something to do with like the Confederates and is it the Unions in America? Oh, uh, and, yeah, yeah. and carry on, carry on. I don't know. That's where I got to. Something about him. <laughs> not <laughs> not fighting anymore and getting on. Well, if they get on. That's so you mean when, when it became the United Nations of America? Probably. I just. Something uh, the United States, States, not the United yeah. Nations. They were all separate nations, weren't they? They became one nation under God. They did. So, Lewis, Hello. amazingly, I have to tell you, you're completely wrong. Thank God. <laughs> That's right. Well done, though, for guessing. <laughs> well, it was quite good. Quite out there. It, yes. Well, Proper left field. It's the st like I said to you earlier. It's all about standards, and you've hit the standard on the now as usual, completely way off the mark. Anyway, <laughs> and I only know that because we've been that we're talking in the week. Anyway, move on. Uh, I have to inform you that there was at least one person that got it right in the chat. Oh, that was nim yay well done nim, well done, nim. uh yes well done. it is the day where east and west become one united uh reformed germany nice celebrate one, them. well done you see not that far out there to this week from me no no not proper left field in like no well, in a, a i was, I was almost field. i was almost behaved almost mm. close but very That's interesting. Yep, well done. Very well interesting. Done, there was lots and lots of guesses about flags. So yes. Um, although Donald Trump doesn't really come into flags, but he raises a few flags. <laughs> he raises a few red ones. <laughs> Bless him. Um, our twisted rail there is just a little bit worried that you've lost your bits. Yeah. No, I've just about recovered. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. Cool. Um, Kind of man, just saying. Don't forget to uh, like the oh, like the button. Sorry, I thought I thought he was asking you not to press your button, but it does say remind everybody to make sure you press the like button. You can press the dislike button if you like. That's up to you, but press a button. Yes, we're currently sitting at thirty three watch, thirty four watching. We just popped Ooh. up one and twenty two likes. So thank you everybody for yes, that. Yes, thank you I very think. much, and welcome to everybody that's there. I hope you're all in the chat taking a part. Yes. Uh, hello. Say Indeed, hello. we don't we don't bite, not on a Saturday. Uh, Mark Ewan just saying you uh, UN flag. I missed that, so sorry, Mark. But no, that wasn't the right answer. Um, but thank you for <laughs> jumping in with a, a, a thing. Uh, Chop Sue has got a question. Does everyone prime their models? I don't. I think it's extra unnecessary step. What, I... What's the the joint you? I always prime my models, but sometimes I prime, but I don't paint over the top, and my prime becomes my prime colour, shall we say. Lewis? Um, I never used to, and then I started using um, some like MIG paint and whatnot, and it just weren't sticking to the model, so I started priming them, and now I prime everything. Yeah. Yeah. Just... Personally, I I have always, pretty much always primed the model. Um, it just gives a for me personally, I find it gives a better texture or, or surface for your paint paint to go on. Whether yes, that's it airbrushing or yeah, or, or, or take a lot uh, of imperfections out of the model as well. It does. The other thing as well with that is that when you um, when you're sign, sanding down your your joints and all that sort of stuff. If you prime it quite often, you can it will pick out those bits for you, um, yes. which you can then go over again and sand and then reprime, etc. So uh, yeah. it's a useful tool. Um, not everybody does. Uh, it's, it's no different to if you use a hairy stick or whether you use an airbrush. You know, they're all part of the fun of the the hobby is the, the choices that are involved. So Malcolm, I always wash my bits before I start. I can't say I can't I can't clarify that in any way. I'm afraid. 
um, Chance just saying that uh, that he always base coats, uh, but don't use a Pacific primer. Uh, Quantum Man just reminding, uh, just saying that he's stuck his thumb up already. Thank you for that. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and, and, um, and it's jumped again. This is very jumpy tonight. Sprue and Glue says, I prime my kits. Haggis says he primes. Yeah. Uh, and Chancellor says, yeah, he's a, a regular user of Tamiya Grey. Mm. So Andy Hobby Headquarters, I don't think he primes all of his kits. Mm. No, I think you might be right there. Uh, Sprue and Glue is just saying Carl washes his pits. <laughs> and uh, Chance just saying, yeah, it picks up the joints. Um, uh, I, uh, I overspray uh, the join lines to look for ghost seams. I try to look for them, but I do find them. Uh, Twisted Rail Hobby saying he, he always cleans his parts and then primes. Yeah. Just paint something to grip to. Absolutely. Um, and Butcher That Model says, uh, my yeah. wife always insists. But this is bits. the comment of the evening so far. <laughs> my wife always insists I was I was my bit. I think that's meant to be wash my bits before I start. Yes. Hot soapy water or cold soapy water? What's best? Oh, I definitely can, warm. I can see where this is going. Cold's no good. <laughs> oh, dear. I knew I shouldn't have put my contacts in. <laughs> um, but, um, but, um, Chance just saying, this is at Malcolm. Uh, my lady would be upset with me if I made her wash them. Kidding. <laughs> uh, Sprue and Glue's going back to cheese rolls. <laughs> oh, dear. Watch out cheese roll. Yeah. If, you, if you're ever in the vicinity of car, watch out for him rolling his cheese. Yes. Mm. It's, it's a dangerous thing. Yes. Um, quite a man, quite a man just saying, don't forget Andy uses black, black pink on, on everything oh. first. I think that might be black pine primer, but I'm right. not sure. <laughs> black pink, black <laughs> pink. <laughs> unless he's referring to bits or some description. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on, <laughs> right? Um right. Shall we do Lewis's bit first and then do the other bit, the new bit later? The new bit, yeah. We'll do Lewis can go first and we'll do the new bit. I'm just about to do some priming, so Lewis does his bit. So, uh, Lewis, would you like to get your bits prepared? Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, but I can't uh, find Ross my spray just, and turntable. Ross is just saying good evening, all. Evening, Ross. Evening, Evening Ross. 36 people watching now. Nice. We do you know we might even break the 40 this today. I've got a feeling. Cool. That will be cool. Uh Spring and Glue's just saying um cheese rolls up <laughs> cheese rolls end up to be cheese balls with Carl. That was almost a no, don't say it, James. Don't go there. No. I stopped myself. <laughs> you cheese the impossible. Almost. <laughs> How are your bits going, Lewis? Oh, I'm ready. I was just waiting for you to say what <laughs> you said. <laughs> okay. Well, when you've got your bits up, I can click the magic button. <laughs> right okay so if you uh, haven't done it already you might have missed your opportunity but we're going to head over to the crash with lewis for the rundown of your work this week over to you lewis thank you so starting off today oh uh, yeah in the comments was me with my one two hundred bismarck from hachette it was a part work build and I did that little bit there, the same on the other side in the last episode, last issues. It's about halfway through. 
It's huge. Look at the size of it. This is about six or seven foot dining table as well. That's been extended. That is that is a big a big one on the desk there. Oh yes. <laughs> it's a monster. Um, and then we got Scott with his M4 Sherman destroyed and burned out, being investigated by the crew that knocked it out. Still some to do on the diorama. Very good job. Like that. That's nice. Like that a lot. I love the fact that he's got the bogeys off as well. It's just, you don't see that very often. It's really good. I like that, Scott. Well done, mate. Mark Ewing at the moment, my Mercava tank, it's all painted and a gloss coat on, tracks painted and dry bushed in steel. Nice. It's nice. Luke Carswell. Uh, so we'll, just skip, we'll just skip past Luke Carswell. Let me skip it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's done a good job on that. <laughs> Finally finished the Chop Shop Trumpeter 35th scale BMP3. Wow. Everything chop, chopped up and mounted on Perspex rod to expose the turret and interior detail. Definitely learned a lot doing it, in, doing it this way. Mainly, yeah. we twice, cut once. Pleased with the overall result. Happy modeling. I'm quitting. Look at that. Yeah, pretty cool, like... Oh, that is incredible. Yeah, he's done a, a really good job on that. And it's an unusual one to see in in that way yes. as well. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, good Would job of him. Like BN, BMP? Yeah, BMP3. Yeah. Yeah. You usually see like tigers done like that or... Yeah. Well, it's usually tigers. That's it. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen anything other than tigers, I've got to be honest. I, might have, I think I might have seen a leopard once. Or it might be a leopard, some uh, something like that. But yeah, no, it's unusual. Nice. When are you going on holiday, Luke? <laughs> um, Luke Carswell again. So also over the last few weeks, after a trip to Warhammer World, I seem to be developing a slight obsession for Warhammer 40k. I tried my hand at the 40k figure, and this is my take on what I believe is a Chaos Space Marine Plague Surgeon. Lots of fun, and we'll definitely be doing a lot more 40k stuff. Much to learn and much to practice. And here was me feeling safe, not doing the scale model of doing Warhammer. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you got off him completely. I've got to be honest. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Uh, Malcolm Charles' work continues on the 135th Revell Spitfire Mark 2A. Base coat's down, but was not in initially happy with the colours or the quality of my edges. Used the work methods and corrected the green. Looks much better now. <sighs> there's a lot of sighing going on tonight i've noticed yeah it's another that's another sneaky one in the bush there yeah mr malcolm Nimsin Darwin. A little preview of Sunday's video. I like how her expression turned out. She definitely has that. I'm old enough to know what's what. Don't make me whack you with my cane. This is done in GUP GIMP aka free Photoshop. GIMP. 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 
I've seen people pay good money for that. Sorry, did I say that out loud again? <laughs> yeah, my life. My life. <laughs> <laughs> Someone got an ambulance or something near them. I think it's a plane taking off or something. So I just put a rabbit away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Frank's garage pimpage is going on today. Little toolbox. Yeah, it's looking nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I'm washing my bits. <laughs> it's what? I've been inspired. <laughs> Nigel needed a bit of a mojo boost this week, so took a part finish model off the shelf. This is the 132nd Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper Mark II from Rivelle, I think. But I chucked the box out. Box ages ago, sorry, all de decaled up and glossed. Now removing the sludge wash. This was meant to be my attempt at hairspray chipping, but it all went a bit wrong. A lot of fun though, but not very realistic. Thanks for looking. So I see this and I thought, well, how is that not realistic? I like that. Yeah. To me, it's nice and realistic. I'm talking yeah. away here with my mic muted. <laughs> Mark viewing, I've now finished all the details on the Edward 148 Hellcat F63. Not likely you'll see the very small black decals on the dark scheme, LOL. I can't see any black decals. And then James managed to finally get some paint on my 3D print. Alex Frankston did some work on the sword. Oh, that's nice. It's different. Oh. And then slower progress this week on the 172nd A model Camov KA126. Nice. And Dave Barker, uh, work in progress on Daz Boot in the book. Kit is the Rebel 1350 Type 7C U boat starter kit. Panicked a bit at said age eight and over. Resin is Depoxy 2K700, tinted with progressively lighter intensity of bluing per pour. Splashes polyfiber soaked in clear resin. Fingers crossed for the last port does not crack. Cracking. It's lovely. 
Yeah, very good idea. Uh, that was amazing. Joe McCaslin has got a Corsair. Coming along. All right. That's Nat's live stream. Thomas, yes or no? Presuming he means for the flag. I'm not sure. I'm going to say oh, that's a hard one. It's different. I'm not sure. Yeah. Not sure. No, I'm not sure. It's a hard one. It's your model. If you like it, stick with it. I'm not sure. It might work. I think it adds a bit of individuality to it. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Why not? I'm going to go with it's your model. Do do what you want to do. I think it's, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, um, if anyone says it, time to shut the hell up. <laughs> Link to James's Sunday Prey last week or this week. Last week. Uh, that's this week. That's this week. Yep. HMS Burdock, Trial Class Corvette. Yep. Starting the, the Sea Warfare build. Can I join the seed warfare? Are you doing something? I don't know. Are you doing something, Lewis? I want to. Well, you've got three months to do something. Yeah, but it means getting a new model. Look at your wife before you answer that question. <laughs> you've he got a new diamond art. He might have something in the stash. You never know. No, the thing in the stash has got photo etched to it. Or in... Well... I'll tell you what you could do, Lewis, in fairness. Yeah. Um, it's a bit tenuous, but you could do a diorama. Yeah, but it's started, though. Well, it's new it's to diorama. you. Diorama. Yeah. That's why I said it was tenuous. You've not started it. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, sneaky. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be allowed under the rules, though. Well, it depends what the admins say, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll decide. It's, it's not like we can be bribed or anything, but you know, you know our pay, pay, pay address. It's fine. <laughs> I'll send that round for you. Uh, yeah, yes, that, that that's an option. <laughs> So this is <laughs> you've got him yeah he's put him right off now isn't it clean off yeah he's gone yeah so this is thomas trying to do are you going red so, just just i'll give you a second to catch up so chop suey saying he saw that uh, flag in a reference picture ah, and i thought yeah. it was cool so we went with it well yeah. well done chop suey well done you. Case, chop suey it's, it's spot on yeah bang on yeah the the only hesitation was that I I hadn't seen something like that. So no, yeah, always good, and it's always good if I'm honest, Chop. So it's really good to have a reference picture where someone goes, "Oh, well, that doesn't look right," and you just say, "Well, look at that," and you go, yes. oh, "All right, then, fair enough." Yes, and if no, if you've never seen it before on a model, then you are the trailblazer, indeed. And before you know it, everyone will be copying you. There's a reference picture. There you go. Cool. 
cool. I just think it adds a bit of individuality to it. Uh -huh. It brings yeah. a bit of life a bit. Yeah. Thinking outside of the box. That's, that's last, um, last week's show. Last week. Does that mean we caught up? Yes, indeed. We have indeed. Bear with. Oh. I'm, just drying, with I'm just drying me bits. I want this second. Okay. Oh, there's a late one. Oh, look at that. Phew. So about progress so far on I shut it down and didn't read it. It's something from Apple <laughs> Star Galactica. Yes. If I remember yeah. rightly. Mm -hmm. Yep. I thought it was off Star Trek, especially with the cells. Very similar. Yeah. yeah. That's the runabout. A modified runabout by the looks of it. Yeah, it does look like runabout. It doesn't look like Battlestar Galactica. It's not Battlestar Galactica. Isn't it? No. I thought I was I thought I was being serious. Yeah. I got it wrong. Is it the Rio Grande or something like that? Uh, yeah. No, it's from yeah. DS9. Yeah, it is the Rio Grande. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it was called, Rio Grande? Yeah. yeah that's what the name of the ship. Yeah, it's a runabout, a modified runabout. Oh, look at that. Latest age of Sigma Stormcast, eternal figure completed. Oh, that's lovely. Really, really nice. Really and the nice. base just. Just the cream, just the, that sprinkle of sugar on the top. Uh -huh. Yeah, very nicely done indeed. I just need a couple hundred pounds so I could buy a whole range of Citadel colours. Yes. Nice. Yeah, I know that feeling. Well, well done, everybody. Thanks for that, Lewis. Thank you. Uh, let me try and find where we were in the chat. Uh, I might well skip over some of it, so forgive me. Um, I did see a little note in there saying that we did get hit the 40 mark at one point. Nice. Uh, awesome. So if we did, thanks for that. Uh, I hope you're still well, not still here because I can only see 36 on mine. But, 34 on YouTube. Yeah. Am I? It's all good. All good. Right. Now. Now. Uh, oh, you've been busy chat, chat, chatting away to each other. Um, uh, that's it. Quantum Man's not doesn't always wash his bits. Apparently, uh, that's where we got to. Um, Scott just saying that's a that's a neat presentation by Luke. Outstanding. Yeah, totally agree with that. Yeah, well done, Luke. Um, a little comment there from Twisted Rail Hobby saying that uh, you need to get that a bigger kitchen table. I need it. I'm not. I'm not sure what that's referring to, but I'm just going to skip past it. Slide right on by. <laughs> that doesn't help. Um, <laughs> but just want to say, Warhammer is the healthy addiction. More expensive than drugs, but healthy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that ain't that the truth? It's very true. Um, and Twisted Railway Hobbies is asking you now, how's that shopping cart of Warhammer going on? Um, <laughs> Painfully slow. I, I keep saying to myself, I've got too much on without buying the six or seven models that I've seen. Glad you clarified that. Um, kind of just saying nice bricks. I just pronounced that correctly. And Steve is in the house. Saying, Hi, guys. <laughs> Evening, Steve. Hope you're all right, fella. Yeah. Missing you. Miss you. Yeah, miss, miss you more. <laughs> Lewis doesn't care. He's just sitting in the corner somewhere. So I'm uh, going to jump ahead in chat very, very quickly because Frankie's just said he's off to bed uh, 24 hour shift tomorrow. So oh, good night, Frankie. It was good to see you, fella. Yeah, lovely to see you, mate. See you soon. Be good. And night, take Frankie. Care. Night, Frankie. Uh, thanks for that, Carl. Uh, so this is the problem when you get behind with the chat. Uh, Chop yeah. Suey, even uh, Quantum Man's just saying, even my bike gets. Uh, a part X after a lob a few miles on the clock. I'm not sure what that's referring to. Um, Chop Soon is saying to butcher that 
models drugs is still more expensive unless you get to be creative with what you build and get a little bug <laughs> from the fumes indeedy um which that model saying, uh, I don't know. I've spent a few grand over the years chasing Warhammer dragons. Yeah. yeah. Dragons is, uh, yeah. Once you get a dragon, that's it. You, you're smitten by dragons. I can, I can attest to that. I've got a dragon. Married. I I think, uh, Dave, is re Dave is referring to something a little bit different. So. When he refers to chasing the dragon, he's chasing something else, not an actual dragon. Ah, I show my innocence. <laughs> uh, from which is saying is um, that I'm washing my bits. Yes, I was washing my bits in my wash and cure machine. That's why it was so bloody noisy. See, what have I started? Everyone's washing their bits. I know. It's just inspiring. <sighs> um, I feel like I need to go wash my bits now. Yeah, do it. Uh, Kenneth is saying, Is everyone okay? Everyone sounds a bit down though. We're not down, I don't think we're down, are we? No, I'm, aw I'm always down. We're always in the gutter, but we're never down. <laughs> we're at the, we're the <laughs> height of, height <laughs> of the gutter. we are right at the bottom and getting no higher. Oh, definitely. Uh, Steve just saying, He's slowly getting better, I'm trying to keep good. His leg, good. Uh, leg from becoming infected. No, we don't want that, Steve. No, I don't want that. Um, <laughs> kind of man just saying, have you thought of considering investing in a bear trap? That's a butcher that model, it would be easier to chase the thing. Uh, some sending of wishes and love to Steve, absolutely. Uh, Scale Model Muse is in the house saying, uh, sits down in a corner and eats a bowl of noodles. Nice. And there, you goes, and there you go. Scotty was just saying there, I see 40 watching. Well, if we did, that's great. Uh, Chance just saying, uh, I used to have the Das Book theme tune as a ring tune, uh, a ringtone, sorry, uh, the music from the original TV series. It was brilliant, yes. Mm. I know someone else has that for a certain person on their phone as well. Uh, that and many others. Uh, Surprisingly, I've never seen Das Boot. Have you not? No. Ooh, that's a name we haven't seen for a while as well. Wow. You need to you need to sort that out. Um, uh, oh, blimey. Right, I've jumped. So I'm going to go from the bottom up now. Uh, oh, Challenger scale models. There you go. Yo, goose. Hello. That is... Evening. Adam, I think, is it? Adam, yeah. That's Adam. Hope you're well, yeah. Adam. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen Adam since Telford. 2017. Last time I saw Adam. I've spoken to him since then. I might have spoken to him. Well, I'm not sure, actually. Um... Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Right, yes. So, uh, another question from Chopsu. How goes it in Challenger scale models? That's obviously aimed at Challenger scale models. <laughs> See, I'm good. I know these things. You are good. You... Mm. Special. Uh, <laughs> I've been called special many times. I, I, I know you find that hard to believe. Uh, he says everything's good there, which is great. Awesome. So, there you go. That's cool. We'll quite up with a chat. Um, shall I do my question? Yes. Yes. Do your new, new section. We've got a new thing. And yes, I've stolen it to a degree from someone else. I'm not proud. Which is pretty much all of this show, really. <laughs> <laughs> the only well, thing we haven't stolen is the hosts. No, in fairness, um, we can't steal Nat. You can. No, you'd like us to steal that. That's a completely yeah. different thing. <laughs> so there's scale model muse to say, okay, it's time to scoot. He's got work, work, work. So, yeah, see you, scale model. Bye, see you later. Thanks for dropping in. Yes, in indeed. Week, uh, well, we'll be here in... Yes, we'll be here. Maybe not here, but the well, show... Well, not here, 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 but we'll be here. But over there is where we'll be. Uh -huh. Or we could be over there. I'm not sure who's meant to be doing it next week. 
It should be Steve. So hopefully he's feeling better through the week. Oh, yes. And he manages to finish his shed. If not, it'll be myself. And that was shed. Yes. Yes, but we'll work that out. We'll keep you posted. And where will we keep them posted, Lewis? On the Saturday night crash. Dun, dun, dun. Da. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Right, so this section is uh, something a little bit different. Um, I've thrown together, literally thrown together something for this evening, about 10 minutes before we come on air, and that's partly the reason why we were late. Um, but we're going to be a bit more organised next week because I'm uh -huh. going to give the job to someone else. Uh-huh. Lewis. <clears throat> Me. Nah. <laughs> nah. <Anyway. laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Anyway, um, I've got anything on there that I don't want anybody. Let me just, um, if I just fiddle with that, oh. fiddle with that. Yeah, clear your browser history. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking from experience oh, there, Nat? I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, let me just delete that page. <laughs> Nat's talking from experience there. Somebody's been caught out. It's been caught out on a on our channel. What channel is that, yeah. Nat? Uh, Dexterous Crafter. I do go. Shameless plug. So here we go. Uh, hopefully. Well, so nice, this is a photo of an aircraft from World War Two. Correct. Uh, you've got two minutes to tell me what you think this airplane is. The flying one. Oh, right. that's a game finished. <laughs> what that airplane is. Yeah, what is yeah. that aeroplane? Can you identify that aeroplane? I don't know, but the airfield's on fire. It's a black and white picture. It's faded on the side. It looks like flames. Someone's done a good job there. Yeah. Uh, Mark Ewing is saying there that he believes it is a uh, a twin engine. What well on, Mark. Yeah, well done. Um, I'm going to say it's got propellers. Oh, there we go. We've got a proper proper guest coming in. Yeah, proper guest is coming in. I, to be honest, I um I read that from my from my other screen. Why is this so slow today? So there you go. Mark Ewan is saying twin engine. Chancer is saying that he thinks it's a French Chardron. Chardron heavy fighter. Mm -hmm. Could it be? Could it be? Uh, Dave, Dave, big Dave's put the same uh, guess in. Yep, French same. Chaudron. I don't know how you'd pronounce that. Chowder. Something like that. <laughs> Number five. Chowder. Uh, Nim saying she's got no idea. No, me neither. I just know it's a fly thing. It's an unusual one, right? Uh -huh. It's a reconnaissance plane, I guess. Correct. <laughs> With all the, uh, I think the aerials, it's actually, the, the viewports at the, on the belly of the plane and then the nose. I think it's actually a light bomber stroke reconnaissance, but I'm not 100% yes. sure. I'm going to guess and say it's not German. Dex Dexterous Crafter Models coming with a Hankel HE219. You just Googled that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Google, Google Feng, Feng Shui or whatever it's called. Google's not always your friend, Nat. Yeah. The Google oh, Shui. Yeah. But when it comes to historical planes. <laughs> Quite a man is saying, uh, can you delete your um, browser history? <laughs> uh, I have to beat my job with a stick to it. Returns to the hell from where to gauge. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, uh, Mac was coming with it. It's a fruit transport from the Western European uh, European banana rush, nineteen forty six. Someone else has been on Google too, me. Yes. <laughs> Any more guesses? I could take, I could take a, a, a snippet and then Google, reverse Google search the image. You could. 
and it'll probably find it. But so shall we play Misery? Yes, please. No, it's yeah. a two minute job. Uh, I don't know. Because you I just say know. two minutes, but you never started the timer, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new segment, honest. <laughs> There you go. Chance of the HE219. Had a trike undercarriage. <laughs> That's a good guess, actually. Uh, Kleinman says he thinks it's a submarine with a cunning camo. Yeah. Could be. All right. Right. And last guess coming in, and then I'll tell you what it is. There you go. Ross Medlock, a Perez 631. Okay, so this is actually... No one's got it right, I'm afraid. Uh, my mm. unit's just come in with a, an old plane. It is an old plane. World War Two. you're quite right. It is a Blosch MB-170. Okay. I was just about to say that. It was on the tip of your tongue, wasn't it? It was. Yes. I knew that. So uh, I quite enjoyed that. But I've got one yeah. more I got one more to do. Okay. Uh just bear me with I'll make it I'm just making it a little bit bigger on my screen. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so yeah, what nationality was it, James? That's a very good question, Carlisle. I'm glad you asked me that. He has got a foggiest idea. <laughs> uh, I believe uh, it was German, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. I think it was either German or Finnish. But um, unfortunately, I've just deleted the Google page that I've got the image from. <laughs> I misread what it said. I thought it was another channel. That... No, sorry. Oh, move on. on. Anyway, so, uh, I'll look at them in two seconds. When I, I'll give you this yeah. one now. Do it. So this is the second of our amazing quiz. Uh, that one there. There we go. We've got two minutes, and I have got a timer. He says. There you go. Two minutes to guess what you think. I've seen that plane before. Image before. It's going to be really interesting to see how many. Uh, Ginger Ninja just has just put in it was a MB170. I think he may have. He's such a Googler. So two minutes to go. That gives me a chance to re Google something. Hopefully, this wasn't quite disturbed what I'm doing. Uh... It's actually a French. French, yeah. It's a French Navy Luftwaffe. Is what it's come up with in its uh, Wikipedia. So, yeah, French. Uh, I've lost the screen there as well. Okay, cool. So, um, <laughs> why did that do that? Okay, so you've got one more minute to go. Let's see what we've got coming in. We have got uh, Ginger Ninja is going for a flying carrot. Uh, Common Road Junction says uh, it's Japanese, I think. But I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. When it gets Chance, to the end, I'll take a guess. Chance is going with a Japanese Kawasaki Risi airplane. Steve's going with Japanese. Stuart's going with a Nakajima Karasaki. <laughs> Chance is going. Oh, why did I use this? Chance is going with an allied, uh, allied, allied. Sorry, named Nat. Uh, Malcolm has gone with a Mitsubishi Recon aircraft. Oh, so up. right. Can I have a guess? Right, yeah, so let's go around the guys. What do you reckon, Carl? I reckon it's a Mitsubishi KI-15 Army Type 97 Command Reconnaissance <laughs> Aircraft. 
Is that what Google said? And it was retired in 1945 with a top speed of 480 <laughs> kilometers an hour. <laughs> That's all from the top of my brain, by the way. I tell you what, I did pick a subject that I know you're very keen on. <laughs> Indeed, that is absolutely correct. Well done. <laughs> See, Google image search. Uh, I'm going to have to make it so much more difficult next time. I yeah, have you need, you need a partial image to make it a lot more difficult. I've got a clear. That's exactly what I was trying to do um, yeah. earlier. And uh, thank you to Malcolm and uh, those at the mo interesting modeling company for giving me the idea to yes. put a little quiz in here. Because yeah. I think it's a bit of fun. I think it's worth putting in. It is. It's a bit of a giggle. Um, the reverse image actually found the exact image. And the web page you found it on. So that brings us to uh, 9.32. Uh, we've got that many people watching, 36 people watching. So thank you for being here. Uh, and we're going to head straight over to Lewis's bench. <laughs> All right. Oh, presents, parcels. Yeah, I got this through the post. I got told I have to open it on a live stream. So, I'm Okay. Before you open it, Lewis. Yeah. Um, if if it's something that has to be made, are you taking the time and trouble to uh, this right at this moment suggest that you will complete whatever's in that bag? Not until I see what's in it. No, 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 no. So blind, blind, yes or no? No, no pressure. There's, there's no pressure. But if you answer the wrong way, I'm just going to cut the feed. Yes. Ooh. Yes, you will. Well done. Yes. Oh dear! Now you now you're nervous, aren't you? You did yeah. send that mankini, didn't you, Carl? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't want to do it now. It's a crotchless mankini. <laughs> <laughs> you will need to wash your bitch first. <laughs> oh dear! Oh, I've got liquid on my. Where's that come from? Are you dribbling again? I don't know. I've got liquid on my um on my side. Oh, oh, nice gonna... oh. can I retract this? No, no, you said it live. What is it? <laughs> what is it, Lewis? <laughs> no, it is. Go on, is it? What's the picture? I want to retract the statement. No, you can't. Um, no, no you, take backs. And you've got 39 witnesses, but you are going to actually complete this. Um, by the by, next week's show. <laughs> so it's Blue and Grease is just saying he's out of here. He's leaving. Oh, See well, you, Dave. No, nice no. to come along, fella. Bye, yeah, Dave. Fun. Thank you, Dave. It was Dave that sent me this. <laughs> That's the picture. What? Turn it over. Oh. No, I just got corner. I don't know if it'll pick it up. There you go. Batman. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at it? What is That's it? cool. The square. Why aren't they round? Are they square? The square. Yes! That's right. Look at that. No, oh, you'll be you, able to knock that one out. So easy. much fun. Yes. There's loads of them. Yeah. <laughs> Quano Man saying Lewis's excitement is palpable. I think oh, it's yes. quite hypnotic. It's uh, gripping. Yeah. I mean, we've actually increased the amount of people watching. <laughs> <laughs> they just view, they just come on just to watch this. I have. They, they, it's been. It's all over social media. I'm confused. Why are you Don't confused? Be confused? With the square. Why aren't they round? Because he's ordered you a square one for extra for extra um, enjoyment, shall we say? <coughs> <laughs> Is he, he? I think he might be trying to say you're a bit square. <laughs> Ross is just saying, no, dear, that's going to be fun, Lewis. Thanks. 
Square gems. Thanks. Square gems. Square gems. Can they just be stuck on anyway, like that? Because those are round. Yeah, but square have got to be straighter. It takes a, a little bit more patience and accuracy with square. So what you're saying is it takes longer. Yeah. Because I'm full of patience, aren't I? Yes. Let's just say, are full I, of patience. I think you'll want to do PE over this with square. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice words there. Get yeah. there. Nice condolences there from your better half. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's loads of them. Thousands of them. Don't just forget, asked. it's got to be done for next Saturday. Yeah, right. Russ is just asking there to confirm whether you've got a small one or not. Yeah. I think he believes, I believe he's talking about the uh, small square gems. Well, Lewis thinks it's huge. <laughs> in, all fairness, otherwise. in all fairness, David's been quite nice because it is only a 20 by 30 centimetre picture, so it's yeah. quite fairly That's nice. nice. One. That's nice. Well, mine's what? Mine's 55 by 75. Yeah, but are you seeing the amount of that? Look yeah. at it. You, can you count up how many is there, Lewis, please? Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> not how many bags? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> counting <again. laughs> How many gems? He's going to cheat, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to Google it. Yeah, going to Google it. <laughs> You'll love it, Lewis. Yes. You'll knock that out nice yes. and quickly. And I'd just like to say, well done, David. That's a perfect gift. No. He's been very lucky this week. He's had two. Yeah. He's had two gifts. Yes. Yeah, I well have. done, Dave. I Thank you very much, James. I got right. a HMS King, yeah, go on. King George and a propelled, self-propelled gun. I sent him a bishop and a bishop. George in the, in the past. Yeah, you sent him your bishop. I remember you starting <laughs> that bishop. Yes. You, yes, you but... decided whether to bash it or not. Oh, I couldn't bash it any further. It was... Um... Oh. It was it was on my shelf of doom, and and uh, I've had a I've had a bit of a clear out recently. So iconic uh, so, piece of armor. So I, I just sent all my shit to Lewis. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was gratefully received. Yeah. No, basically, I was gonna. I, I built this. It's uh, I, I, what scale is that? It's one. Which it's one? one? I think it's a one one two five or something like that, maybe. But the bishop or the no, not not your bishop. I know what size the bishop is. It's the George. <laughs> George. I don't know. It's, it's small. small. It's smaller than one three fifty, but I think it's bigger than one seven hundred in turn. Yeah. Yes, it be somewhere yeah. in between. Yeah, it's the it's the airfix kit. Whatever that one is, doesn't matter. But um, I I did it. Um, and I got to the point where I was putting the little pom pons on and stuff, and um, I lost complete interest in it. So it's been sat on my shelf for some time, and um, I was going to throw it in a bin and said to Lewis, "Would you like to make a diorama with it?" Um, and he said, "Yes." So I happily sent it to him rather than going in a bin. But uh, yes, that and my my unfinished bishop. So that will keep him busy. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm so glad you opened that. It was a lovely surprise, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, I'm just adding it up. I'm already up to yes. three thousand. Ja Jacqueline has uh, requested that uh, it's videoed. So oh, yes. What's the video? I'm going to do it next week on the live stream. He was. He was actually saying, funny enough, only a couple of hours ago that he was thinking of doing a special live stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll let Connor do it. That's nasty. No, no, because you've said in front of all these witnesses that you're going to do it. There you go. Well done, Dave. Um, yes, thank you, Dave. Next time you won't promise people you're going to do something if they if they will and back out. Ah. Oh. I see. Is that where it all comes from? Oh well, it'll be fun. You'll enjoy it. I can I can say with all these witnesses, hundred percent, it's not something I would do. 
There was 9,600 gems in this thing. Oh, There's a small one, then. It's, yeah, it's not even 100,000. What are you on about? <clears throat> oh, my God. Never mind. It'll be good. You, you'll love it. What's that? That's your wax nesting. Oh, I get some freezer as well. Mm -hmm. Get some deal bags. <laughs> <laughs> Don't deal, don't deal with the gems. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's five to ten stretch for dealing in gems. Um, you can do multiple gems at once. Oh, like doing, doing lines with, doing lines with three pencils. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! <laughs> uh, it's not that it's, it's not that it's set for. Um... No, I'm not going to say that. Why? No. Go on. I can't do that. Uh, Don's in the house and evening from a wet and windy Blackpool. Evening, Don. Evening, Don. All right. evening, Don. I think you'll find it's wet and windy in most places in the UK today. Yes. Oh, yeah. And we've got amber flood warnings today. Yeah, at least we're not in France where they are having severe floods. They're having some right old problems over there. Thanks, um, uh, yeah, uh, Ross is just saying, I think so. Lucky Lewis, Nat's picture has over two million. Yeah, thanks, oh. Ross. <laughs> yeah, so I've not seen Don post anything for a while, so I hope you're still uh, building, Don. Indeed, oh, I've done that all in my right. Cool, so there we go. Um we're just coming up to quarter to ten. And we've done everything on my list. We've got a list. It's on the list. It uh, can't be a script. late one for did me this evening because I've got work at six o'clock. You, did you you got the script, Lewis? I did send that over earlier. Did you send it to me or not? That means he didn't get it. No. No. That means he's been off strip. Off strip? <laughs> <laughs> been off stripping. He's been off stripping all night. Only on Sundays. With vocational. I've lost my wax. Yeah, mix all the gems up for him, nah. Yes. Good idea. Oh heaven no. I know man, I believe. Uh nat nat nat, when look uh, Lewis gone to sleep, I think you should help him out yeah. and debag the gems into a bucket. Oh <laughs> and, and don't forget Thanks, Dad. Don't forget as well your present from Jacqueline. Oh, we got a proper dibba dabba pen as well. Oh, look nice. at that. Nice. It's pink. It's that screw up, Paul. That's, that looks like one of them glass pens that you, um, that they, for an ink pen. Have you seen those? Instead of a quill. Take the lid off, you plonk. I have took the lid off. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> plastic off the top, it stops it drying out. That's it, and then oh. <laughs> come on, Lewis. You should know that by now. You take the plastic off so you can get to the soggy end. <laughs> oh. The plastic's a bit more visible on my soggy ends. Pardon? <laughs> Need to wash it more. Um. I was just saying there. Uh, I'm just uh, just when I post things, uh, not not ones interested. I've not seen anything pop up at all, Don. So I haven't seen anything from Don for a long time. Uh, Spru and Lewis just asking Lewis. You need to ask Carl about some cheese. Apparently, cheese. Yeah, I don't yeah. I'll not. see you right after the show. Hmm. The nice cheese. Does that come with HP? See, look at that, it's started already, see? Addict. Yeah. Once you I pop, you fall. just can't stop. You'll be Don't up on the count. You've started, yeah. Can I finish? No, started now. You can't finish. You can't not finish it. You can't put it on the shelf for Doom. No. Yeah. That's that's you until you're done. Yep. And on that bombshell. <laughs> on that bombshell. Um so Unless there's any questions or anything from anybody in the chat, I'll give you a couple of minutes 
maybe you want to throw some questions at us. Uh, what I will do, though, actually... Don't throw them too hard. No, don't throw them too hard. Uh, what I will do is I'll change my camera. Oh. And thank you very much for putting up with the noise in the background. Um, and this is what's been printing away. Ah, some... Um... So we've got our uh, work Royce. Uh, We've got a little... What was his name? Hold up to the camera. I can't see. Go full screen. Oh, on, let me, let me show you full screen. I've done I'm it. I'm looking at my thingy, Bob. I've done it. So Come repair on. droids. Yeah. Repair droids. The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. And, and, and Creel. And Creel in there as well. Yeah. So... Actually, a quick question. What do you think I'm actually trying to achieve? Other than just oh, I won't answer that because I know. Yeah, you know. Um, so we've got three work droids. Yes, there's something we need to talk about as well after you've done this. We've got this... Um, uh, IG-88. IG-88 with wings. We've got some... Animal moles. Can anyone guess where we got where I'm going with this? Uh, and you've got literally one minute to guess. And I wish I, do you know, I'm going to have to get one of those um, countdown things. Copyright. <laughs> Uh, are you doing a diorama from Sprungley? Well, it's sort of a diorama. It's certainly a scene. It was it, probably the world's first ever diorama. Ah, oh, Nim's in there straight away. She's on fire. Yes, on a fire. Star Wars nativity scene is exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'm printing off for a friend of mine who's just nuts on Star Wars. Um, so yes, that's what I've been printing. That's that there it, it, is literally two days hard work. Indeed, yes. So yes, we're doing well. It was three days just to print these three Buddhas off. Yeah, I've just noticed actually that um, I'm not sure I've done him at the right height. So I, I'm gonna have to fiddle with him later. I shall fiddle with my bits oh my. after the show. So well done, Nim. Um, so that's two prizes that are winging their way to you as we speak through the through the camera. Yes. Now, if you go into the branding section of StreamYard, there's a picture that you need to put up and have a little quick chat about something that's coming up at the end of the month. Indeed. You've read my mind. Indeed. So... If you don't know already, there is this. The charity organ. Organ? <laughs> oh, my. That's because you talked about your bits all night. Uh, charity oh auction on the 30th of October over on the ISM um, YouTube channel, uh, hosted by Paul and the gang. Uh, 7 o'clock, and uh, there are loads of really interesting and um, wonderful kits that you can bid on. Uh, all the money that's raised will go to Models for Heroes. Uh, and I believe last time, didn't they do, was it 2000 or 1500 no, I think it was more than that. Malcolm's in chat. He should let us know. Malcolm, what did it, it was did more than that last time. But you will find there's a, quite usually quite a lot of rare kits that come up in this auction. So if you're looking for something old and rare, yeah, there's a good chance that it might be in this auction because there'll be a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, it was two and a half thousand uh, last time they did the auction, so that's got nice. me hoping to beat that. Um, that'd be yeah. good if they can. And I know for a fact that there are a couple of models in there that are, shall we say, the um, quite if you want to go into a shop and buy them, they're, they're quite expensive. You might be able to pick yourself up a little bargain and aid the charity all at the same time. Yes, so yes, remember it's it is a charity, time. so don't Google the prices, just go with the no. flow. Just look at the just do what I do when I go shopping. Look at the model and tell yourself what you think the value of that model is to you. And yes. then 
it doesn't matter um you can just pay what you think is a reasonable price for it um and the charity benefits but obviously if you're feeling ultra generous and you just want to bid because you want it bid 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 yep. bid uh, and don't worry about how much it costs or might, if you might. there's there's nothing there you do like then just donate there's the other option donate some money you i think you can do that just on the night as well yes um to link it through to Paul, um, or you can go over to modelsforheroes.org um, and donate there. You can also buy some merchandising. Uh, they've got some mugs, some t-shirts, cool I believe. They've got t-shirts, um, yeah, wristbands, badges, badges, all sorts of bits and good bits and bobs and goodies. Yeah, and posters. Of course, and of course, if you're not sure you know enough about Models for Heroes, go and see what they're up to. Yeah, I've got involved. a poster here actually. If people want to see what the poster looks like. Indeed. We'll go over to you. Oh. He says. Oh, why is that not doing that? I haven't got a mug yet. I need to get a mug. Oh, it's just... There we go. So you get the little badges. Yep. Like so. You can get mugs, cup placemats, all sorts of stuff. And, of course, you can get these mod these posters... Let's say keep calm and make models. I'm still trying to find a, a, a decent frame to put this in so I can put it up on the wall. So, yeah, yeah pretty cool. Keep calm and make models. Talking Lewis of keeping stuck. calm, let's, let's go over to Lewis. Are you keeping calm, Lewis? I'm sticking to it. You're doing you got, well, Lewis. you got a sticky end. Yeah, look. <laughs> yes. You can't put your hand down on it. Oh. Can I give you a tip, Lewis? Don't put your hand down on it. That's it. Well done. These guys are so much fun. So yeah, make sure you, you make sure you tune into that and uh, help the guys out. Uh, there yes. is also, if if you are uh, not aware, um, there is over on uh, on YouTube on a Sunday at nine o'clock. There is a um, uh, a couple of hours with some volunteers and some beneficiaries making models um that's on the youtube channel you can also join the facebook group uh it's models for heroes the models for heroes mess um and also on the uh, web page which is modelsforheroes.org uh, they do have a forum as well now so you could get involved with yes that. anyway you can support the guys um the beneficiaries uh, would be mostly grateful, uh, uh, majorly grateful, sorry. And obviously the volunteers uh, like myself who take the time to sit with the beneficiaries and make some models and have a bit of fun and a bit of a laugh. So try and try and support them the best way you can. And, of course, if you've got any kits in which you did, really don't want to build and can't be bothered to sell, um, as long as they're complete kits, get in contact with Malcolm through the Mods for Heroes or website. And you can donate those kits to, straight to the charity, and they will go out to the beneficiaries for them to model. So there you go. Proud to support Malcolm and the Mods for Heroes, are we all? Somebody's oh. got very quiet, haven't they? <laughs> Somebody's uh, enjoying that far more than he was expecting. He is. I think he might be going out uh, tomorrow and buying some more. No. Uh, just, no. The twisted roll. Watching Lewis struggle is hilarious. <laughs> Words of encouragement to end with. Thanks. Indeed. So, on that note, um, we're just coming up to 10 o'clock. So, we're going to shoot off at this point because we've done everything that was on the script. I mean, the, on, on the list of things to cover. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for joining us here um, this evening. Um, great, great. You can take the time with us. Been a bit of a laugh. We will be over on Steve's channel uh, or Carl's channel next week. Um, yes. Hopefully, it will be Steve. Yes, uh, hopefully. As long as he's managed to get out in the shed and, and get it all sorted. Yes. Um, hopefully, that'll be the case. But we will keep you posted over on the Facebook page, The Saturday Night Crash. So, Indeed. until next week. Oh. <laughs> we will we will leave you with the Buddha and Diamond Art. <laughs> See you later.
Bye. Good night, folks. Bye. Thanks for coming along. See you next week. Bye.